Hello dear ones, it's Alice, I am of the stars, and um, I wanted to talk a little about a body elemental that I encountered um, while I was driving along this long lonely road here out in the country by the most beautiful river on God's green earth. Of course, all rivers are beautiful. But I was driving up a hill and it was a little bit scary because there are no guardrails on this road. <laughs> <laughs> and a lady, I passed a lady, uh, maybe from a ranching family, in a pickup truck. She was heading my way. And in her astral body, it was not yet, I think, connected to her um, physical body and her mental mind. You know, it's when people first start rising up, it's like that. Um, so that their, their astral body, their emotional body is starting to talk and starting to recognize things. But it hasn't yet made a connection with, like, the whole person. So she was thinking kind of unconsciously. She was, I was looking at the ghost town that was around there. <laughs> it was a big ghost town. A lot of little shacks and stuff by the river, a big bend of the river. And uh, so I was heading up the hill and she goes, in her, ast in her emotional body, her astral body, she said, oh, look at there, look out, here's Looky Lou, she said it in the local way of talking. And uh, so I was st still heading, I, you know, waved because that's a custom here. Just wave a little bit. You have to be nonchalant in your wave. You're holding on to the steering wheel, right? You're passing somebody else. This is the way you do it here. And you raise your fingers like that, see? Now you know if you're ever in rural Col Colorado what to do. So I was heading on up the hill, and then all of a sudden, I got a really sharp pain right here in my head. On that side of my head, which I've never had anything like that before. And I heard on the astral plane, I heard, uh, you, sh you be quiet or I'll give you a headache. Like that. Very strident voice and this, this sharp pain in my head. And so, usually when, I, when other people's projected energy comes toward me, I, I treat it just as if it were my own. And, and, I, you know, I, and so I went like this. This is what I would do. I would go, um, well, hi there, how you doing? I love you, I do. And it, and it, it said a bunch of little mean things, you know, like a little kid would say. It said a bunch of mean things to me. I know, I'll hurt you again, you know, like that. <laughs> and so I said, well, aren't you something? You're the cutest little thing. Come on over here and give me a hug. And so it came over like that, and then it was like, sort of like a feeling of something crawling on my head. And I said, what do you look like anyway? <laughs> and and little girl's voice said, oh, I'm a big hairy spider. <laughs> and so I said, oh, wow, aren't you something? Aren't you the most amazing thing? Come on over here and give me a nice big hug because you have to be kind of repetitive, you know. And, and, and little girl's voice said, I will not. I'm going to scare you. And so I said, I hear you. That's the other thing I say. Either I love you, come here, hug me, or else I say, I hear you. I hear you. And so when I said I hear you, I started, it started with this story. This voice started with this story, Body Elemental, right? You read about it in my other blogs. It started with this story. It said, um, I said, how old are you? I said, four years old. I said, wow, aren't you something? Four years old, wow. And, and it said, she said, I told her that. And then she went away. And so I'm going, in my intuitive mind, I'm going, oh my gosh, there's been a mix up here. Four years old, she was in a temper. She, um, she said she was going to give someone a headache and then this person passed on. So I said, is that your mom? And, and and the voice said, no, it's my grandma, my grandma. She went away. Why'd she go away like that, right? Like a little kid. And um, so, so I eventually got the story, you know, and I said, well, that's okay. She loves you anyway. She loves you anyway. And, and you can stay here with me. It's okay. You, you're the most wonderful thing. I love you. Like that, right? After a while, that energy settled down. You know, that energy is like a, a memory of very sharp, very deep pain. 
that happened when, you know, many children believe at the age before reason, before six years of age, if someone in their family dies, they believe they're responsible. And even after that, even, even any age, people sometimes feel they're responsible for someone else's death. And so the experience of loss can be so excruciating that this memory, this memory of, of like being responsible for some terrible incident, some terrible painful incident, the death of another person that they loved, by being out of temper or for whatever reason, you know, gets buried. It gets so deeply encapsulated and buried and compressed in the in the body of light that we have, that it's it it has a it just impossible for it to to free up until we notice, until we hear it, or we notice, or, or one of you ascending ones hears someone else's or your own and notices it, and just loves it to the point where it can be transformed back to the light again. That's, that's one of our, our wonderful possibilities that are opening up right now. The light itself is, is bringing all this forward so that all our souls can be healed. It's a pretty cool story, huh? So, God bless you all, and talk to you another time. Bye-bye.